This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, July 22nd, the morning edition. I'm James Spann. A very moist environment stays in place today. Look out uh, for heavy downpours this afternoon, much like yesterday. We'll start with some of the sky cam shots. These were captured early this morning, a little before the sun was going to come up, about 5 o'clock. That's coming from Tuscaloosa, down below the Hugh Thomas Bridge, over the Black Warrior River, connecting Tuscaloosa and Northport. Uh, no rain at that point. There's a look at downtown Fayette. And the Alabama Gulf Coast down at Gulf Shores. Uh, down there, you'll dodge scattered showers and storms this week. But on the positive side, you'll get, I'd say, about five to seven hours of sunshine on most days. Check the uh, big picture. The westerlies have dipped farther to the south this week. Of course, the heat wave is over for our friends up north. Thank goodness for them. And uh, we got a pretty good little short wave uh, that will be approaching the state uh, today. So that interacting with this air mass should provide a number of showers and storms this afternoon and tonight. Uh, no watches or warnings here. We note flash flood watches north of the state for parts of Kentucky, Ohio, and West Virginia. And the summer monsoon out west, Las Vegas under a flash flood watch. You don't see that too often. And whenever it happens, it's always this time of the year during the monsoon season. Severe weather possibilities today well to the north from Kansas up to parts of Michigan. Tomorrow, a slight risk down into northwestern Arkansas. And on day three, which is Wednesday, uh, no formal risks but there is a 5% chance of severe weather down into Memphis and North Mississippi. Here's the rain for the next five days. Uh, this carries us through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock local time. Pretty big numbers here. Uh, it's suggesting rain amounts of maybe a 1 to 2 and a half inches. Some really big numbers for parts of the nation's heartland out there, Kansas and over toward uh, Springfield, Missouri and Fort Smith, Arkansas. And uh, summer rain is always a good thing for us. Uh, soil moisture is deep, and that should prevent any big heat wave issues in August. And after that, hey, we're into September, and the fall kicks in. Check the uh, tropics. Still very quiet. Again, we figure we're about uh, oh, a week away from an uptick. We do note a little wave coming off the coast of Africa. And uh, things should start to pick up up there as we uh, wrap up July and get into August. We'll check the uh, modeling. This is the OZGFS, valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon at 500 millibars. I got a 591 heat bubble out in the western states and a short wave blowing through here, giving us a little dynamic support. And uh, down below that, that will likely kick up a number of showers and storms. And, you know, like yesterday, it's not going to rain everywhere. You know, while Birmingham had flooding, uh, you go down to Shelby County and places like, you know, Helena and Alabaster didn't see uh, any rain yesterday. And the same thing today, but where the rain comes, it will be pretty heavy. Uh, there's the high resolution NAN that looks very wet this afternoon. This is valid at three o'clock. And based on those, uh, high precipitable water values, you know, one storm could put down two inches of rain, which happened yesterday that could produce some localized flooding problems. Tomorrow, the model not quite as robust with the rain. This is valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow, showing a few showers around. We'll still mention scattered showers and storms, probably not as active. And, of course, with all this rain, temperatures stay way below average. We probably won't get past the middle 80s today. High tomorrow, upper 80s. The NAM shows 88. And I do believe we have hit 90 on only three days this month, which is nuts. Uh, we might be given, I believe it's 1916, our coolest July on record to run for the money here. Go to Wednesday afternoon at uh, 1 o'clock. And again, that looks kind of typical, you know, the risk of a few scattered showers and storms around. Highs 87 to 90. Now, this is Thursday, upper high over Texas. The uh, And one thing, you know, we'll deal with here, you know, tomorrow and Wednesday, I'll say, is a northwest flow aloft. Those can be kind of tricky. You might see a big MCS come down the pike at 3 in the morning. That, that, that can happen just a word of caution with that flow pattern. But again, this is Thursday. The uh, wave axis is a little east of here, and the air is drier on Thursday. So if this is right, Thursday would provide increasing amounts of sunshine and fewer showers. And the same thing on Friday. Those days could be relatively dry. Still, there's the chance of a shower or storm, just not as many. And the heat levels creep up a little bit. We might do 90 on those days. All right, weekend fans, here's Saturday. Big vortex up around uh, James Bay in Canada. Uh, 594 heat bubble over Arizona and New Mexico. And down below that, a little wave kicks off uh, an increase in showers and storms. So uh, we might see a bump in the number of uh, showers around Saturday as we kick off the weekend. And the same thing on Sunday. We'll have at least scattered showers and storms with some sun at times. 
And highs, uh, again, for the weekend, I'd say maybe 87 to 91, something like that. And a week from today, the air looks a little drier, but a week in advance, hard to be cute with trying to time the coverage or the or play, forecast the coverage, the placement, or the intensity of the summer showers around here. We'll check the end of the forecast, August 6th. 594 heat well to the west. That's where it's been pretty much all year. And that looks kind of dry. But again, we see nothing out of the ordinary into August in terms of any bad heat or anything like that so far. And I, I doubt that that's going to be the case with this good, deep soil moisture we have. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. Don't forget to catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on either the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 Central Time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Does your weatherman have a face for radio? ABC 3340's James Spann may be hair challenged, but he sure is entertaining, especially when he teams up with everyone's favorite radio duo, Rick and Bubba. From the radio airwaves to the small screen, it's the Rick and Bubba TV show five days a week. Watch Rick and Bubba along with ABC 3340 Chief Meteorologist James Spann, Monday through Friday from 6 to 10 a.m. on the Nashville Network, provided by ABC 3340.